As Dad got older, he was pretty young for his age for a long time. When he was in his 80s, he was still pretty mobile and could go for walks. But when he reached his 90s, walking became more difficult because of problems with his back and knees. So he began to use a cane or a walker. After a while, even this became difficult for him. And eventually he began to use a battery operated scooter whenever he went outside the house. He loved riding in that scooter. When he was about 91, he realized that he'd better make a long delayed trip to Japan to see his old friend Namakawa while he was still able to travel. They met after World War II in the 50s when Dad was a senior advisor to Japan under MacArthur. Dad helped to build Japan's new self-defense force and he became friends with two of the Japanese officers including Namakawa and his family. They formed a very close friendship and wrote to each other after Dad returned to the U.S. They were still continuing to write, and they often mentioned a possible reunion with each other. Fifty years had gone by, and Dad and Namakawa were both getting old. So Dad and I finally began making plans for a trip. We got passports, invited a few other family members, and made plane reservations. But the best laid plans don't always work out perfectly. Shortly before the trip, I was eating a piece of hard bread, and to my horror, one of my teeth broke off. That had never happened to me before, and now it happened right before an important trip when I wanted to look my best. I knew there wouldn't be time to get it fixed, but I wasn't going to miss the trip. So I began practicing how to smile without showing my teeth. I got pretty good at it, although it looked a little bit like a smirk. Pretty soon we were on the plane to Japan. Dad was so excited he could hardly sleep. The closer we got, the more excited he became. He had looked forward to this trip for a long time. It was a long plane ride. But eventually, there we were in Tokyo International Airport, ready to begin the adventure. <laughs>